In this video, we will walk through how vCenter Operations Manager helps you debug poor performance caused by storage I.O. Let's drill down into one of the hosts through the Operations tab to see what the issue is. Here we can see that the host is currently bound by disk I.O. It looks like one of the virtual machines is saturating the disk I.O. But what is the cause? Is it a rogue VM or noisy neighbor that is starving all other VMs on that host? Let's scroll down and expand the storage section. We see that this host is connected to one data store. If we mouse over the green storage icon, we can clearly see that the problem is not a storage capacity issue. Below this icon, we see the I.O. details for this data store, as well as how much this host is contributing to that data store I.O. For example, there are currently 75 I.O. commands on this data store, 74 of which are coming from this specific host. Let's return to the dashboard to see the amount of stress on this host from a historical perspective so we can determine whether this is a chronic problem. We notice that the host has been stressed for the last 24 hours. Perhaps the stress is related to a backup or a batch job that has not completed. If we click on the Analysis tab, the heat map confirms that our suspicions are correct. The vast majority of the I.O. contention is caused by one specific VM on the host. Double-clicking on that particular VM provides us with more details. Clearly, disk I.O. is still the bottleneck at the VM level, too. If we scroll down and expand the storage section, we see similar I.O. details that we saw at the host level. Notice that in this scenario, this specific VM is contributing almost 80% of the total data store I.O. commands. Now let's go back to the Environment tab and drill down to the data store to get a storage perspective on our problem. No surprises here, our data store is also bound by disk I.O. This view gives us complete details for the data store, including storage space, IOPS, throughput, and latency. If we scroll further down the page, we notice that vCenter Operations Manager provides a breakdown of each measurement by read and write. If this is indeed a case of a single noisy neighbor, we can move it to a different data store to resolve the problem. If this is a chronic issue or more than one VM is impacted, we should revisit our storage design and consider adding more data stores on different physical LUNs, if possible, and separate the VMs to different data stores. In this scenario, you saw how vCenter Operations Manager uses real-time information from the entire infrastructure stack, including storage, to diagnose performance issues. In today's complex IT environments, this comprehensive visibility is essential to managing overall system performance and ensuring service levels and operational efficiency.